My husband gave me a luxurious designer dress, which turned out to be three sizes smaller than what I wore. He said he would take me to his office's Christmas party, but only if I was able to wear it. A year after giving birth, I hadn't been able to lose the extra weight. How was I supposed to do it in just a few weeks? <laughs> the next day, I secretly met with my husband's personal assistant. She ran all his errands, so she was most likely the one who bought the dress. I asked her to swap the excess for an L, but to do it in secret, so Peter wouldn't find out. The assistant's reply stunned me. As it turned out, she bought the dress for herself. I don't know where you got it from, but Peter said that I would be accompanying him to the party. I hoped it was some kind of misunderstanding. So I decided that, instead of jumping to conclusions, I would talk to my husband about it. I went to the restaurant he was having a business meeting at. However, I immediately noticed that Peter and his colleagues weren't alone. They were surrounded by slim young models while discussing the guests sitting at the Christmas party. Peter's boss asked him if he needed two extra seats, considering the size of my hips. Everyone burst into laughter. I thought Peter would stand up for me, but he was embarrassed and said that he wouldn't go to the party with me. I go the answer to my question in the most humiliating way. And now I knew who that luxurious dress was for. On Christmas Eve, Peter put on his best suit and asked me if I was ready to go with him. I immediately told him that I couldn't fit in the dress he gave me. But if it is so important to you, I'll go. I'll wear a different dress, though. Peter arrogantly said that a deal is a deal, and that he wanted me to become three sizes smaller. Then he said that he would go with his assistant, Lisa. And without even waiting for my response, narcissistically left the room. However, at the party, he was in for an unpleasant surprise. Because Lisa had her eyes on men of a higher status. So, at the exact moment, Peter was drowning his sorrows with cocktails. I showed up. looking like a real star. It was my first public outing after giving birth. And I remembered that aside from being a mother, I was also a woman. Peter's boss was the first one to notice me, but he didn't recognize me. Who is this beautiful woman? Please come sit at the manager's table, miss. Peter spread his wings after hearing his boss's words. He recognized me and invited me over to his table. However, I passed right by him on my way to the dance floor. Peter didn't expect that to happen. So he grabbed my hand and demanded an explanation. Why are you being so cheeky? What happened to you? I told him that I had come to the conclusion that I didn't have to change. 
only the dress for one that fitted me. And that I was thinking about doing the same with my husband. I offered Peter a deal. I would stay with him if he started making three times more money. It was just a joke, of course. My sweet revenge. I was not going to stay with Peter after what he had done. And after the holidays, I filed for divorce. I remembered how important it is to appreciate myself and started going on dates. You shouldn't live your life according to someone else's expectations. <laughs>